Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about some rumors that just started circulating about yet another Jurassic Park cast member returning for Jurassic World. So the internet kind of went crazy yesterday after Joseph Mazzello, the actor that portrayed Hammond's grandson, Tim Murphy, in the original film, posted this short statement to his Twitter page. His post read as the following. I think it's time to get back to work. What do you say, gang? Following what seemed to be just a simple, ordinary tweet came a massive amount of hype, anticipation, and excitement for the actor return to Jurassic World 3 as Tim. Someone who we haven't seen on screen in this franchise since the Lost World Jurassic Park way back in 1997. Now, personally, I want to say this before we go any further. While it very well could be possible for this tweet to have been a tease for the actor's return to Jurassic World 3, I think it's a good idea to just kind of calm down and relax before jumping to any wild conclusions. While I would really like to see him return in the next film, I also think that when things get overbearingly hyped, they're bound to disappoint those who were, let's say, maybe just a bit too optimistic. With that being said, I do want to elaborate on this information further and provide some context and evidence for why it is more than likely a good possibility for Joseph Mazzello to return. If we go back to the premiere of the last film in the series, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, one legacy cast member happened to be present for the movie's opening that happens to share some experience with Joseph Mazzello. This was of course Ariana Richards, the actress that portrayed Tim's sister, Lex, in the first Jurassic Park. Now, having her in attendance may seem like nothing more than just a nice gesture from the talent that are currently responsible for making the new films, but I always saw this as a really clever tease for those who were super invested in the series. This was also around the same time that Colin Trevorrow was asked whether or not old characters would be coming back to future installments, which he of course continued to tease pretty subtle confirmations on that question here and there after. It's the reason that most of us knew Alan Grant's Ellie Sattler and Ian Malcolm would be returning once again in the next film installment. And I think this small appearance by Ariana Richards could also be that same kind of tease that would lead to both Joseph Mazzello and the character of Lex's return as well. Keep in mind that this doesn't necessarily mean that they absolutely will return, because until we get some super credible source of information that tells us this is a real thing that's happening, we can't really know for certain. Still, I think the idea of Tim Murphy coming back for what is essentially the final installment of the initial six Jurassic movies is a pretty good idea. While he did come back for The Lost World, they didn't really do too much with him in that film. Originally, the character was supposed to attend John Hammond's funeral after Ian and Kelly had gotten back to the mainland, but all of that stuff was cut out of the final draft of the script. Tim did indeed make some other appearances in the franchise here and there, most notably in IDW's comic book series Jurassic Park Redemption, but I think if he were to appear on screen in a Jurassic World movie, it would be far more meaningful to fans. I guess the only real question I would have going forward would be, who is Tim Murphy now that he's all grown up? Did he become a working paleontologist like his idol Alan Grant? Or did he become disinterested in dinosaurs after his experiences at the first park? Personally, I think he continued pursuing his interest of working with the animals, but we don't really have any info on his current life just yet. That being said, if he appears in the next movie, well, I guess we're going to be catching up a lot with Little Tim. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you've all continued to support me the way you do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next one, guys, and as always... Take it easy.